Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to use the counter widget in Elementor. So this is an example of counter. Let me refresh this page and you will see these numbers starting from zero. So this is the counter. Here you will see the number 10. This is also an example of counter where you will see the text before the counter and after the counter. So let me refresh this one also. Here you will see the numbers are moving. So let's see how we can use these counters in Elementor. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using Elementor page builder on this website. So here I'm going to add a new section. It will be full width section. Uh, let's add some padding here, the top and bottom padding to the section. So in this example, we are going to use four different counters to show the statistics or the achievements on the portfolio website. So let's use this in a section. So first I'm going to use icon. So click on the plus sign and we will use some different icons before the counter on top of the counter. So this is the icon. Drag it and drop it here. Now let's click on this icon image and we are going to change it to let's say the glow. So whichever icon you want to use, you can use. Okay, so this is the globe. Now let's add the counter. So in the search, look for counters. So this is the widget that we will be using counter. This one is countdown. In one of the previous video, I have shown you how to use this countdown and countdown timer. So let's use this counter, drag it and drop it here just below the icon. So this is the counter that you can see here. This is the basic layout. You will see the numbers and below that you will see the title. So now let's see the settings of this counter. So starting number zero and up to 100. So this is the default number. Now let's change it to the ending number. Let's say 1500. So we want to show 1500. So this is how it will show 1500 and it will start from zero. If you want to change that number, it will start let's start from the 500 so it will start from 500 to 1500 now this is number prefix and suffix so if you want to add some something before the number and after the number you can use it so in the second example I'm going to use this number prefix and number suffix okay so here I want to show 1500 plus let's say projects so this is the title it shows cool number change it to projects okay so we what we are showing here is 1500 plus projects so this is the counter for the projects okay now here you will see the separator this is the thousand separator okay if you want to change it to dot it will change it to dot so i don't like that i i'm going to use the default one that is the comma okay now let's go to the style section and uh, this is for the number this number so i'm going to change the color to let's say dark blue and this is the typography right now the font is set to roboto you can change the font also so i'm going to use this one you can choose any font there are a number of fonts that you can use okay so i'm going to use this one and you can also change the size of the numbers so let's use this one and the font weight okay this one looks good text shadow if you want to use a shadow you can use the shadow otherwise you can leave it okay now let's go to the title this is the title projects so let's change the title color to black and you can change the size also so i'm going to use let's say 35 Okay, you can change the font weight and all the typography you can change from here okay so this is the column now what i'm going to do i'm going to change the background color of this entire section so let's go to the section and go to style and here i'm going to use the gradient color so you will see the background color has been changed okay so now this is the background color of the entire section now let's go to this column this particular column select this column and we are going to change the background color of the column to so let's say white okay so this is the background of this column 
now let's go to the icon and change the icon color also so let's use this one and you can also change the size of the icon okay now let's go to the column again and let's add some margin 10 and let's add some padding 20 okay so this is one column now let's right click on this column and duplicate it so you will see the same counter here duplicate it one more time so we are going to use four columns so we have got four columns and four counters let's delete this one last one okay so now let's go to the second column and change the icon let's say users so you can use any icon I'm going to use this one users and let's say how many clients do you have let's say one two zero zero I have 1200 plus clients so here you can change the number the text to clients okay so this is the second counter now let's go to the third one change this one to let's say building we are going to show the location so use the building icon and here you can change the number of locations five you have offices in five countries so you can start from zero to five Okay, here you can change the animation duration also right now it is set to 2000 milliseconds that is two seconds you can change it to three seconds or one second as per your requirement okay so this is the third one and let's say the last one will be awards so let's go to the icon and change the icon or let's say award okay so select this awards how many awards do you have you received so let's say zero to ten 10 plus awards so we have received 10 plus awards and change this one to awards okay now let's see we are going to add some border radius to this column so select the column go to style and here go to border and change the border radius to 20 okay so you can do the same thing to all the columns so best way is to right click on it column copy it now right click on the second column and select paste style so do the same thing paste style on the third and fourth column also okay so we have got four different counters here now let's add the title here and let's say milestones center line it change the color to white or whatever color you want and change the size all right so this is how it will look okay, now let's add some animation here to this column so go to the column again go to advanced tab motion effect and change it to let's say fade in up okay now let's do the same thing copy and paste the style on all the other columns all right now let's update it and let's see how does this look so he, every time you refresh the page you will see the counter the counter starting so this is 1500 1200 5 10 right now let's see how you can use the prefix and the suffix so let's add a new let's add a spacer here and let's go back to the counter again look for counter drag it and drop it below the spacer okay so this is the default timer so let's see number prefix so we are using the prefix and suffix in the counter so I'm going to delete this one okay so here you will see we have received 10 so we are going to change the style so let's say the text color we are going to change it to white and let's reduce the size okay now this looks good all right we are not using title if you want to use you can also use the title here Here you will see that title 
you can change the color from here so let's update it and refresh this page now here you will see this prefix this counter also has the text before the counter and after the counter so this is how you can use the counter widget in Elementor. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.